Forty-five years ago today, Israeli torpedoes ripped through an American Navy technical research ship in the Mediterranean Sea. Thirty-four soldiers were killed and over 170 lay wounded after the attack on the USS Liberty. But was the assault an accident or the subject of a decades-long cover-up? A group of survivors are calling for a full investigation into the attack. They say Washington is hiding the truth and falsifying the story. They argue that relations between Israel and the U.S. actually improved after the attack. They also accuse both sides of taking part in a cover-up. On the 8th of June, 1967, the USS Liberty and its 300 crew was patrolling international waters near the Sinai Peninsula. That was during the six-day war between Israel and several Arab nations. Israeli warplanes and boats pounded the ship with cannon, machine gun fire and torpedoes. Franklin Lam is an international lawyer joining me now live from Beirut to share his thoughts with us on this. Mr. Lam, welcome. Uh, first of all, calls now for a thorough investigation, 45 years, and still those who uh, survived that attack saying that they are disappointed, that they want to see this case being investigated. What has stopped that a thorough probe into what actually happened? Yes. Well, um, uh, first, I just want to point out that the survivors who have followed this story and uh, published ample material over the last 45 years know this subject best, and I think their accounts are, are very credible. Uh, of course, the reason why Lyndon Johnson and Admiral McCain, the father of John McCain, uh, put the lid on this uh, was the relationship between the Zionist lobby and the American government, which during these uh, 45 years has only become stronger. So I think the reason why these uh, sailors uh, have been betrayed and their families have been betrayed by their own government goes to the core of the relationship between Israel and the United States government that, that continues and, and, if anything, as your report suggested, has deepened. But the gentlemen, the survivors are absolutely right in their uh, courageous work that they've been doing. I've corresponded with three of them over the past few years. Uh, they're American heroes uh, who have been betrayed by their government, and there must be uh, an investigation, and it's up to every American to demand that investigation and let the chips fall where they may. There's plenty of evidence uh, that, that is classified that needs to be released, and then let the facts uh, follow where they may and let the American public make the judgment on this issue. But a cover, it's a cover-up, a classic cover-up that betrays uh, the American people. Right. Well, one accusation that's been raised here, Mr. Lamb, is that uh, these, uh, some of those survivors are saying that Israel meant this attack to look like it was an Arab uh, nation who attacked the U.S. Uh, sure. ship. Well, if we consider that allegation correct or if we consider it not correct, the question still remains, was the United States aware that this attack was going to happen, meaning the United States government, before it happened, or did it just participate in covering it up? Oh, I have I have no knowledge of the uh, of the knowledge of the U.S. government as they put the lid on this tightly uh, of what occurred before the attack. But again, the evidence and the best evidence is the accounts of the survivors uh, and and other, frankly, uh, analysts uh, make it pretty plain that it was intended by the Zionists to present to the Americans to present to. Uh, President Johnson evidence that, in fact, Egypt, Egypt had attacked that ship. Um, and they, they got away with that for a while. Finally, that was exposed, and then the Americans made the political, purely political decision uh, to, to cover it up. And that ignoble act uh, has, has lasted till this day. Uh, I think there's no question what the, uh, the facts are on, on that subject. Um, and uh, uh, again, uh, uh, we salute on this uh, 45th anniversary the families of those who gave their life in the service of their country and the courageous men who are now um, being marginalized every day by their own government in order to preserve uh, the pleasure of the Zionist regime and its control uh, over our government. Franklin Lam, international lawyer, live with us there from Beijing. Thank you very much.